What it do, y'all? It's your boy Beantown Spins, man. We back with another video, man. If you made it to this video, man, you are on the final part of this three-part short series. So shout out to you if you made it to this video after watching part one and part two. I appreciate my supporters, man. Everybody who really rocking with me, even though we small right now. We got a small community, but we grown. Just a quick recap, man. Part one. You know, we went over how you could do a washing style, you know, to to figure out, you know, what you're trying to do with your crown. And in part two, I actually gave you a crown method that you can use daily, you know, morning and night. And then for part three, um, the last thing that, you know, could really help you with trying to just really solidify and lock down your crown so that you do have, you know, a surface and something to really work with. I would just want to put out and recommend that if you are just jumping straight to this part three without watching part one and part two, stop this video, go back and start from part one, man. Um, because part one, part two, part three, they all kind of go together and complement each other well. That if you watch them in order, if you do the steps in order, you know what I'm saying, you'll be better off in good hands. This is my recommendation. You can, you know what I'm saying, finesse it however you want to finesse it. But we're going to get right into it. But you already know I'm going to need you to like, share, and subscribe. Be active in the comments, man. Let me know if you, you know what I'm saying, down below. If you watch all three videos, man. If you, you know what I'm saying, you've been rocking with your boy. Just show me love. You already know we running it up. So that's the crown how I'm looking. And this is just a, you know what I'm saying, this is a full day. Another full day of work, man. Just, well, I haven't been ragged up. That's the crown. Um... Oh, I got some, you know, moisturized. I got the mink mix in there. Check out my mink mix review video if you haven't already. Um, so y'all can get hip to that product, bro. It's a tough, tough product, but it got me looking, got me looking right, got me looking solid. This last one, I just want to just hit it like this. When you brush, work that crown, man. Work the crown. When you start your brush sessions, brush that crown area, man. Just brush that crown area, man. That's it. If you start your brush sessions, start from the crown. And just watch that hair shift, bruh. Watch that hair shift. Some people also, you know, like to attack their crown with a with a toothbrush. If you want to get real, real precise with it. Um, for me, I don't I just stick with the, you know, the pointy side of the brush. But Can attack it with the. You just want to have a brush session around that, around that crown, man. And you just want to treat it just like you would treat any other part of your waves, man. And the more you attack these angles of your crown, the more you will see it close, the more you will see the waves form on that inside. Like, even right here, you can see, you know, a waves are starting to form, even the swirl. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're getting that swirl to come in and this crown is going to be real, real, honey. You just got to Know how to attack when you brush. And that's really one of the things I could say for when you're attacking this crown. Just spend time on it. Have a whole brush session just brushing your crown. And you'll be surprised that you know the results you'll get over time. Another thing I also wanted to include 
in this part three for you know this final episode of this short series is this something you could also do to keep your crown in place i absolutely 100 percent recommend is investing in a pomade doesn't really matter but get a pomade to hold your crown in place also another thing i recommend is to get a crown patch a crown patch is just a little patch I don't even have one myself. You know, I just ordered me a few, but um, I recommend to get a crown patch to hold your crown in place. So you put on the crown patch, and then you put on, and then you rag up, and then you know what I'm saying when you're laying down and you're sleeping, even when you're moving, that crown patch will keep that um crown intact. And I think um, that's you know some small investments that you can do that will also really just help your crown. I also mention that. When you attack your crown, some people attack it with a toothbrush. There's also specific crown brushes. If you just have a difficult time with, you know, using the regular standard brush attacking your crown, you don't really need to invest in the fancy, you know, crown brushes or whatever. I mean, if you believe it'll help you, yeah, like, yeah, it will. But you don't have to invest it. The tools that you have will be good enough for you to get flawless 360 waves. That's one thing that I always want to stress you don't need you know the fanciest brush or the most expensive brush or the most expensive pomade sometimes we gotta just work with what we got and we gotta make do but i'm saying if you are looking for more help or a faster way you can invest in these certain products you know pomade or specifically a crown brush or you could just use a toothbrush when you come to your crown but this part three was mainly to you know cap everything off from part one and part two and then show you and explain to you the final thing you know that i do and it's just having a brush session with the crown just specifically the crown man and you just gotta hit that crown it's it's tedious it's tiring you're gonna get a little workout from your arm you know what i'm saying real wave is no but when you attack that crown man it's gonna take work. It ain't nothing that's gonna happen overnight. And even my crown is not really, not really elite status. And I and I just started working on my and check out my Instagram at Beantown Spin so you can see how far my crown came to get to this point because I ain't even really have a crown if I keep it hundred. But I'm working, man, and I'm still going to work. If you didn't watch part one or part two, follow up with those. Close out with this part three, man. And hopefully, 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 these videos were able to help you get an understanding of, you know, things you can do with your crown, how you can find out your crown, and just how you can perfect that craft, man. So, again, I just want to shout out and appreciate everybody who stuck through and watched, you know, all three videos. I do know I got some real supporters out there that watch every single one of my videos, dog. So, I really appreciate y'all, man, because it's a journey, man. It's a marathon, and we just going to work. We just going to grind. So, you already know what it is. Follow my IG at Beantown Spins, man. That's like where all my updates are, you know, where my progress is. I do my best to try to be active, man. My work schedule kind of gets in the midst of all of this stuff. But just don't worry, man. I'm here. Like, I'm here, bro. I'm here. Um, it's your boy Beantown, man. We coming up. And, you know, Wave community just got to be on the lookout, man, because we out here, man. You already know what it is. It's Beantown Spins. You already know. Show love.